Here we have some word problems that use inequalities. And I think the toughest part about these is just translating the English here into math phrases. So we'll practice that a little bit here. The first one says 5 times the sum of a number and 12 is at most 145. Well, when you see is, that's usually a key that um, the inequality is, is here. And it says is at most. Well, if something is at most something, it could be equal to that or it could be less than. And it's at most 145. So there's the right hand side of our inequality. The left is a little trickier. It says 5 times the sum of a number and 12. Well, the sum of a number and 12 is going to be multiplied by 5. So it's 5 times that thing, whatever it is. A number, that's our unknown, that's our variable, so we'll call that x. Sum means addition, and then we've got 12. So you can write that as x plus 12. That's the sum of a number and 12. And this is 5 times the sum of a number and 12. Now that we've got this written out, we can just go ahead and solve it. I'm going to, you know, you could multiply the 5 through and continue on with the problem that way, but I'm actually going to divide both sides by 5 to start with. So 145 divided by 5, that's 29. And now I've got x plus 12 over here, and all I have to do is subtract 12 from both sides. And I've got x is less than or equal to 17. And that's our answer. Let's try another one. This one says 5 times an unknown number is at least 7. So here's our inequality, is at least. When something is at least, it could be equal to that or could be greater than that. So greater than or equal to. So it's at least 7. And 5 times an unknown number, well, the unknown number is x, so we multiply it. 5 times x is just 5x. Now we've got another part. We've got an and here. And 4 more than the number exceeds 5. That's our inequality there. There's no is but this is definitely the inequality. So let's write the second part of this. And exceeds 5 means it's greater than 5. And 4 more than the number. Well, that's the number plus 4. That would be 4 more than that number. So now we've got our two inequalities. We want to solve these. So we've got, um, well, we'll divide by 5 here. We've got x is greater than or equal to 7 fifths. And... We'll subtract 4 here. We've got x is greater than 1. Now, because it says and, the solution we give, the answer we give, needs to satisfy both of these. This needs to be where they're both true. So to think about that, I like to draw a little number line. So I'll do that over here. I'm going to put 1 right there. And 7 fifths is a little bit more than 1. It's 1 and 2 fifths. So we'll put that right there. Now my two inequalities, one says x is greater than or equal to 7 fifths, so solid dot there and then going on that way. The other one says x is greater than 1, so open circle and going on that way. Now the place where they're both true is where they overlap, and they only overlap from here onward, which is actually exactly this. So the only part of the answer that you'll give here, because of that and, is this one. All right, let's try one more. This one says the perimeter of a square is to be between 14 and 56 feet inclusively. Find all possible values for the length of its sides. Well, first you have to know the formula for perimeter of a square. The square has four sides that are all the same. And the perimeter, you add all those sides up. In this case, instead of calling it x plus x plus x plus x, we'll simplify that to 4x. So that's our formula for the perimeter of a square. Now it's to be, be between 14 and 56 inclusively. So it's got to be greater than or equal to 14, and it's got to be less than or equal to 56. So that's our big inequality. And all we really have to do here is divide by 4 to solve for x. And often um, you might be taught to break this into two separate equations, but in this case, I think I can just divide everything by 4. If we do that, we'll get 14 divided by 4. Let's simplify that to 7 halves. X, 4x divided by 4 is just x. And 56 divided by 4 is 14. 
And there we have it. That is our answer. The, the length of the side can be as small as 7 halves and as big as 14. So that's a little bit of work with some inequality word problems.